Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. Um, so yeah, I've come back to the um, Duke Ster Freya battle. I do want to point out that uh, that the way the horns look is could very well be, and the way the feet are actually, could be very much reminiscent of the ancient dragon. Uh, but, um, I guess because of the Ashen Mist Heart, we now have a crystal. Again, like, I don't know if that is Seath himself, but it could be the Ancient Dragon. We'll find out that the Ancient Dragon might not be what it seems, and maybe this is the original body of that Ancient Dragon. But, and, and Seath kind of took possession of him, but uh, anyway, um, there's this crystal and we can examine it. We find ourselves in the dragon memories. Um, and so we know that the Ashen Mist Heart allowed us to kind of traverse the memories of f withered things. And so this is the first one that we can interact with. And we can see here that in an area that I don't fully recognize, um, but we can we can find the ancient dragon soul and leave. I don't know if there's any other items in there. I hope not. But we get the ancient dragon soul where, uh, I mean, this, I guess, is our first indication that something's awry because, I mean, we talked to the ancient dragon and, you know, we can fight the ancient dragon and cer certainly we would get the ancient dragon soul when we fought it. Well, we get it from going into the memory of this thing and, you know, looking at a dead dragon that looked like the ancient dragon. Soul of the great ancient dragon that stands magnificently deep within the shrine. This powerful being stands and waits for whomever may visit him. Use the dragon soul created by those who peered into the essence of the soul to acquire numerous souls. So that would imply that Vendrick, and that says those who create period into the essence of the soul, so Vendrick and Aldia probably, use the dragon soul created by those who peered into the essence of the soul to acquire numerous souls or some, create something of great worth. So it's interesting because we don't find this on the ancient dragon. I'm going to preempt my um, failure to you know, defeat um, the ancient dragon. <laughs> and I'm going to say that um, the ancient dragon drops a giant soul. Which indicates to me that um, the ancient dragon was a experiment from Aldia um, to bring back a dragon. Um, because again, dragons are really important in the whole realm of like, like life and death, because uh, they were undead. Like they were the first things that never could die, because of their stone scales. And so people are always fascinated by them throughout the ages. And I guess in this case, Aldia was through his. He was the scholar of the first sin, so he you know, logically got drawn to the idea of dragons when he was looking at all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's really interesting that he used a giant soul to create the ancient dragon for some purpose. But anyway, let us uh, continue to um, go into the other... Um, places where we can go with the Ashen Mist Heart.
Wow, infinite poise or something. Like, why can't I break his guard? You're dead. Alright. Can I get these guys to not come out? Doesn't look like they're gonna come, which is great. Um, so yeah, these things that we can examine, the, the giants that have died and have kind of sprouted trees, we can jump into the memories of them. And we know that there's a couple of these around the Forest of Fallen Giants, so we're going to be exploring all of those today. As much as we can. I mean, we have a limited amount of time in these. And uh, so this is the memory of Vamar, who is the name of the dragon, or the, the dragon, the name of the uh, giant for whose memory we're in. And we find someone here who's wearing some armor similar to ours. What are you doing here? You are not one of our soldiers, and I don't take you for a mercenary. Whoever you are, this is no battle to involve yourself in. Whether you are guided by bravery or brashness, <laughs> this is no place for you. Is that the same voice actor I am as... Drummond. And the Lord has placed this fort in my hands. So yeah, we're wearing Drain Link, are, which is owned by Drummond. I forgive your trespass, but leave this place immediately. Just mention my name, and no man will challenge your exit. And even if you don't, by now, my men have not the will to resist. So yeah, Drummond is uh, the captain. Oh, there's Vendrick Seal. We're wearing the Drang Lake armor, which is his. Soon, the giants will descend upon this fort. It is revenge for the kingdom's misguided barbarism. Mm. The venerable lord built this kingdom to bring prosperity to his subjects. What has transformed him so, I cannot imagine. Long ago, the king crossed the seas, pillaged the land of giants, and brought back a prize. A prize. Hmm, what is that prize? It was then that the golems materialized. Hmm. The giants are no ordinary barbarians. A singular rage burns within their hearts. My father and his father both fought the giants on this very land. The giants have wills of steel. They cannot find it within themselves to forgive the misdeeds of our Lord. We got a lot of that from the description of Zarmor, but it's cool to hear him tell us. Did you see him? That towering monster among them? Not yet, but we will. That is most certainly their king. He will be a thing to topple. <laughs> Even if I should die trying. Are you resting or are you injured? My blade may break, my arrows fall wide, but my will shall never be broken. Those who live by the sword will die by it. And I, Drummond, won't go down without drawing mine. So it's cool that we can, um, you know, see the time that we were referring to, which is when they were fighting, and you know, we know that the, the fight has gone on for generations and generations, and here's Drummond, who we've worn his armor for the whole thing, you know, here he is in the flesh telling us all about his will and what he, where he's at with these guys. Be gone with you. This fort will soon fall. Be gone. Before the giants are entirely upon us. Hurrah. Now we got every gesture in the game. 
Alright, we don't have a lot of time in here, so let's continue on and see what we can do. I suppose these aren't our enemies. These are our enemies, the giants. That looks more like the ones we saw in, uh, in Black Gulch. Not like the one we fought in the beginning of the game. Yeah, so we talked to him for too long, so we are getting kicked out of here. But we will definitely come back, and we will continue, and we will just do this as much as we can. Can we get? It? Can we grab this? Oh, <laughs> weird. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know how long after that message appears until we but yeah we're going black and white okay so now we can just come in here and not um i like how this turns from black and white to color as we come back it's cool and i like that they kick us out right here so that we can just jump right back in all right so now without talking to him we can explore the area I don't love this mechanic. I don't understand why. Might be gone with you. Yeah. I do. Oh, the guy is just right here. That sucks. Okay, good. Oh! I had no idea you could backstab. <laughs> That's awesome. Does a decent amount of damage too. Um, I don't know what there is to find in this area. I certainly, oh, I certainly don't want to like. Some memories are more um, rich with stuff than others, so I'm just gonna try and attempt to. Oh yeah, I think this might be one that's full of stuff. I love that you can come back and like actually see the battle as it's happening. Are these guys my enemies? Oh yeah, they don't know me. Okay, let's try. Oh! So here's a much bigger guy. That's more like the guys we found in... More like the guys we found in um, Black Gulch. Let's see what we can do up here. Nice. <laughs> That's certainly convenient. There's an item up here. Aesthetic. So yeah, this is actually an area that we've been in in Drang Lake, um, kind of. I think we'll see right out here. So right here, that's where we fought the, the lizards, right there. And then here's where we, like, came down the bonfires up there in that cardinal tower. Um, so yeah, Rouge Water, okay, uh, yes, yeah, so the only other thing I'm interested in getting here is ending it with this guy. So we get a soul of a giant, and we examine him again, and we can leave. Alright, let's kill these guys. Alright. So, yeah, this is just the same as before. Yep. Uh, we will be collecting these. So, 
Um, I guess the next part is over here. done in this episode. Really? Get out of here. Alright. We talked about these guys before. It's going to kind of matter in this, uh, in this episode, but this, um, big guy standing guard, um, his head's gone, and there's a head here that's cracked, and then um, this guy over here, same image as that guy, but his arm is broken off, and then his sword is right here, so it's kind of a cool little detail. This is where we found Drummond's armor, down here. I'll kill these guys real quick, who just take a little break constantly attacking and of course we find Benhart here well we meet again what are you doing here what are you doing here I thought we'd meet in a place like this <laughs> apparently you and I in keep fate just won't let us stay apart will she <laughs> <laughs> not funny see the old swords caught your attention yeah well You've a good eye, then. Hmm. That has been in my family for generations. So you've told us. They say it is crafted with moonlight. And we, we all know what that means. means. It wards off evil. Hmm. And I would need trader for all the riches in the world. Don't worry, we'll get that. They said if no man has ever teased out the sword's true power. But... And the right Hans. <laughs> Hans. I don't know if any Scottish or Irish dialect says Hans. Um, yeah, maybe you will be able to tease that out. If it's the real Moonlight Greatsword, you should be able to figure it out. I see you've taken a lightning to the sword, but this is one sword. If you still insist on having it, then you will have to pry it. Uh, that won't be necessary. I'll try to summon you for another thing and I'll get it. Uh, naturally, but if I not, then I will, um, I will kill you. Have a great date to you, and I'll never forget it. I, Ben Hart, swear by my honor to aid you in your darkest hour, so no problem, pal. Good, thank you. Although I just said I would kill you if I needed to. Have a great date to you. Uh okay, well, let's go into this memory. Let's see whose this is. Nice. The memory thing is a little bit of plot hole-ish, but I do like it. I do like that you can see things at different times and whatnot. Alright, so this is definitely one where we're going to have to visit it probably a couple times because there's so much stuff in here. Oh. Look at you, old friend. I don't know why he's in this, by the way. I see your travels way up on the yet. Just remember, I'm always ready to help. Was he here in the memory? Or is he here because he got the Ash and Mist heart in his kind of line? I don't know. My homeland is in the Far East. A kind of a honorable fighting man. We know about Hugo. And this sword, yeah, weighs a true man to wield it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do it. Alright, I think this is where he resides, so that if we need to come and grab the sword from him, whether we're asking him for it for helping us, or whether we have to kill him, it's going to be... This is kind of interesting, we get to see... I feel like these are more fit. Whoa! They do a lot of damage. Oh, come on! How much does he have left, please? How much does that heal now? 
by the way. Not a ton. Oh my gee. Like, come on. Okay. Um so yeah, there's a Pharaoh's lockstone here. Which means that Pharos was doing his stuff before the giant war. I don't know how much that matters, but um Okay, it looks like it's trapped, not I feel like the trapped ones have darker colors. But it didn't have a mimic in it. Oh, so that actually does a, uh, that does a, uh, huh, that's interesting. I thought there was a, uh, like a spear we could get here. Um, with the Pharaoh's Lockstone. There's the burning, uh, crest. I love that you can see them using that. Alright, well I guess let's go here. that concerned with the things in this area, but I think that is something. But yeah, here's our guy. So let's just grab this little a giant and get out of here. Is Benhart gone now? Yeah, okay, so he's just in that memory now forever. Um, so one thing I want to show before we get to the one that actually is going to progress the storyline. We have plenty of time here. Um, so... There's this tree that we've been getting a uh, uh, Seed of the Tree of Giants from. And... Um, that has an examine on it as well. First of all, we can grab that. And then we can examine, and it says, a giant rests in peace. Um, so there's no memory associated with that. Again, maybe another opportunity for them to do DLC, or that has some significance that this giant has no memory because he's in peace. I don't know. Um, so the other... Uh, there's one more tree with a memory associated with it. And um, we have not actually gone to see that yet. So, oh, and I'm still wearing the flame quartz. Let's go here. Fight the cyan knight. Let's try a parium. Nice, almost killed him. Okay, and then we're wearing the uh, symbol of the king, so we can open his door, which, by the way, has that tree on it that we saw in the king's passage, at least the top half. And this is where we get the final bonfire um, from this area. So if we rest here, does the Cyan Knight reappear? Nope. Okay, and then we have this one, um, giant. Um, but we also have... I thought I heard a crystal lizard. 
can't get in there. But um, there is uh, some twinkling. Oh, and a fragrant branch now. Okay. Maybe there is a twinkling. Um, or, well, I say twinkling. Um, crystal lizard. Or maybe that's just the tree. So yeah, you can see the, the little ones are potentially here. Um, I don't know if that's that or if it's a magic. This is the last chance we have to summon Benhart. But we can also summon Captain Drummond. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want we want Ben Hart. And then, uh, yeah, so here is the... Um, keep in mind here. So we can see the head get... Oops. We can see the head get knocked off of this statue right here, which is cool. It gets knocked off right there, and it starts rolling down. And that's where it ends up. So this is where the pursuer fight is. And then yeah, here we see the uh, the, dri the giant lord, who uh, this is the um, this is the guy we fight in the beginning of the game, which I think is a nice little touch. He makes the same noise, um, but he has a sword. Oh, nice. actually quite tough. They call him a uh, camera boss because he can get stuck in his skirt. But I think it's cool because I think the idea is implied here that he uh, he remembers you from beating him when you were in the memory. And so when you come and you uh, see him I've actually had some trouble with this guy, like... But I guess not today. But anyway, that's the last giant, the first boss we fight. And we... We get a giant's lord soul from him, we get the giant kinship. Get another fire seed, which is just being handed to us. But anyway, he recognizes us from when he, we beat him as a memory. Yeah, see, there's the head unbroken yet at this state. Uh, and this is where we fight the pursuer. This is where, right before the pursuer. And then here is like, if you go down here, this would be towards the, where we use the key. Uh, and we'll grab the soul of a giant and get an exit. Okay, so anyway, he sees us, and he is so enraged um, that we beat him back in the day that he frees himself, and um, fights us. I think it's kind of a nice little touch, because obviously at the time where you um, fight him, He's the first enemy you see. I mean, you don't know him as the boss you've beaten, but it is you that goes back in time. I mean, this is very similar to, um, you know, how the DLC was represented in... Wow, these guys do no damage anymore. I remember when that actually used to take some of my health away. The DLC, like, that you beat Artorias, you beat Manus, and yet they give credit to Artorias, even though you were the one, and that says, you know, actually defeated by an unknown warrior, and, and Elizabeth acknowledges that. So, I think what's cool about it is that, you know, you beat, by the way, this is where the giant would have laid, um, and so we come up here, and this is where we fought the giant lord. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a nice little touch. Um, and I guess there was, you know, this pillar fell down since, and then there's the head of the guy that has now since been cracked. And then this is where we entered in. I don't know, it's cool. It's weird because I would have thought that the giant here would have been the memory that we went into, but, um, what the hell? This guy clipped through. Oh yeah, you can see his feet and everything, that's cool. Okay, well, I don't suppose we need um, <laughs> to kill that guy to enter in. He's just inside the tree forever. But now if we go talk to Bernhardt, Benhart, he will uh, give us his stuff, I believe. We have outwitted death a good many times. <laughs> My dear friend, take this. So we get the moon, the blue moon greatsword, and it says moonlight greatsword achievement. Benhart's parma, night helm, armor, crowns, and boots. My whole life is in the fire. Um, and I think, can we just, uh, can we just do this? So we have a lot of stuff to read, so let's, uh, get to a safe place here. I guess let's go to Majula. And then let's read everything that we've gotten on our journey. So yeah, you can use the Ashen Mist Heart for all those trees, most of the trees, for the Pildrick and for Vendrix stuff. And that's it. I think that's everything. So, All right, so let's see what we have. Uh, so we have a bunch of giant souls. I think there's six in the game or five in the game, and we have four. Um, so we will... Um, it, the, the the sixth the, the next the the fifth one or the sixth one which I, whichever it is is dropped by the ancient dragon I don't know that I'm gonna beat him because I mean he sucks uh, but all of these uh, will uh, contribute to something that we'll look at later on so um, giant lord soul let's read it soul of the giant lord who once conquered Drang Lake um, that's something that we don't talk about a lot of times. Um, just because of the situation, but I guess the giant swan, like after Vendrick left and did all that stuff, like I guess he conquered the giants in their own land and stole a prize, which we have yet to talk about that too, but he stole a prize and then came back and they came back for it. And I guess at this juncture, Vendrick, you know, abandoned the whole thing and they won. So, Vendrick crossed the seas, took prisoner the giants, and brought them back to his castle. The prize right there, the giants. Maybe. And brought them back to his castle, clapped in irons. However, after this modest triumph, his countenance could be seen to grow darker with each passing day. So yeah, this is a changed uh, description for sure. Um, I don't know the subtleties of all that, but yeah, people used to argue for for days and days and years and months and whatever on what prize he took back. A lot of people said it's related to the golems, that what he found was a way to make golems and imbue souls into inanimate objects. Certainly possible. This implies that he took back the giants uh, themselves, um, which I don't know if that's worthy of the description of prize with quotation marks. Maybe. Because it seems like the prize was really significant, and yet, if he just took some of the giants as prisoners, um, it makes it less significant, because of course, you know, you t there's prisoners of war all the time. But, you know, Aldia experimented on uh, giants. Uh, we saw a bunch of giants stacked up in his thing, and we know that the ancient dragon drops the giant soul, so like, all at the same time, like, what they earned from bringing back the giants could be knowledge of their souls and and that they might be a little bit different i will say that the giant souls um that we are acquiring are all lowering king vendrick's 
defense. So the Vendrick that we see in the Undead Crypt is able to be fought, and every uh, giant soul we get kind of halves his defense. So he starts with 16 defense. I know that. So how many would that be? 16 to 8, 4, 2, 1. Uh, maybe starts with more. But, uh, yeah, we'll be able to fight him once we get all the giant's uh, souls. Um, so, again, that could be related to the prize. Um, the other thing that I've wanted to mention for a while is that we implied that Vendrick was here because Shalquar, like, spoke about his scent. Um, I believe that um, this had something to do with an area that like, so I think that this is Vendrick's spot. Just because Vendrick was so large, I think this is a large book that he was reading. Uh, we don't have any evidence for that, that's just what it is. The other thing that I wanted to mention that's related to Vendrick and the War of the Giants is that this um, monument um, up here, I think, is a war monument for the War of the Giants. Um, so basically, um, two quick things about this. A, when you read the t the front of it, it says how many deaths in the world, which, by the way, that's because I'm offline. I guess I got kicked off. That's how many deaths I've had in this playthrough. But it will say millions and whatever, all the ones recorded online. And then this back one says letters are warm beyond recognition. Now, there was in the Brazilian or some Portuguese release, there there was a description that was actually given that doesn't say it was worn, but it basically said, like, something about the giants uh, and the war. So it was believed that this is to be a war monument for those that have passed without um, any great, you know, like, uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier type thing, um, which is why it says that. So I think that this, um, you know, Vendrick being here and that, you know, it's, uh, it's facing the sea, which is where the giants came from, um, I think it all has significance. Um, so, anyway, just a little side note there. Let's continue to look at stuff. Um, okay, so I don't think there's anything here. So we got the Blue Moon Greatsword. Uh, we should play with this uh, for sure. The blade of this great sword shines like the brilliant rays of the moon. In the oldest legends, rarely spoken of today, it is said that the sword was born of a great white being, aka Seath. Then what explains this lifeless weapon? Perhaps there has been some mistake. So even the description is questioning its veracity, which I think is really funny. But um, yeah, so let's let's let's. Uh, Let's play with this and see what it does. Of course, we don't have the correct stats. Can I induce its special? I guess we're gonna have to. Yeah, I can. Well, I actually don't know whether or not that makes it special or not, or if whether I'm. I can't do it because I don't have the stats, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do anything special. Giant Warrior Club. Club of the giants that besieged Drang Lake. Nothing more than a boulder bound to a tree, but a very powerful, if primitive, weapon. King Vendrick, in adherence to Queen Nishandra's council, led his armies north in an effort to subjugate the giants and claim their powerful souls for his own. So I think that's uh, that's the end of the discussion right there. I mean, just in my opinion, like, his souls is what he was interested in, and that was the prize that he brought back. There's something special about giant souls. Shield, a uh, small shield of Benhart of Hugo. This Parma, emblazoned with a family crest of some sort, has clearly been around for several generations, but has no special value. A helmet of unknown origin belonged to Benhart. Apparently Benhart found this while wandering uh, 
land to land, but its origins are unknown. He wore it all the time. He adored it so, leaving a slate. Odor. Okay, that's gross. The whole, he just stinks, he's just a stinky guy. He stunk up everything that he, uh... Great. We didn't get any new rings, did we? Don't think so. But, we got the giant's kinship. Grants access to the throne room beneath the castle. Well, okay, that's interesting. However, giant's kinship as an item. I mean, I'll give you that the Ashen Mist Heart is weird, but it says that it's a um, manifestation of mist received from an ancient dragon, so it's like an object. Oops. But Giant's Kinship, it's like, you know, if we're going to take this literally, Kinship was an item, I, I, I don't know, I think this is definitely like a, a fault of this game, like, I don't know that this makes a lot of sense. But I think it's interesting because the kinship is what maybe Vendrick desired, what Nishandra desires, is like the actual friendship with the giants. And that it was an actual item held by the giant lord, and that when we defeated him, we like get it. And obviously, Vendrick was not the one that defeated the giant lord. We were. Drummond wasn't. We were. Um. Each king has his rightful throne, and when he sits upon it, he sees what he chooses to see. Or perhaps it is the throne which shows the king only what he wants. The throne of want. The flames roar, but will soon begin to fade, and only a worthy heir might burnish their light. What is it truly a claimant of the throne could desire? That's, I mean, and that's a question that Aldia has been asking us this whole time, and what you know, we have to think, like, you know, even potentially uh, the fire, the Emerald Herald here, um, you know, when she sees us when she's an old lady, um, I don't know if that's her or not, but um, she says, you will arrive at the gates and not even know why. And it's a, it's a, it's a general theme here, like, why are we doing this? I think, I think that was illustrated best in Dark Souls 1, this idea of, like, just following orders of a game without even questioning it and then if you liked the game played it a different way and played it a second time a third time whatever and, you, and maybe got to the cath line the cath storyline and you're like wait what so like i know so much about this game and then here's this guy that's telling me like that everything i know is a lie um this game i guess just tries to reinforce that by um you know making you question constantly. Um, so yeah, we got the giant's kinship. What else do we want to do here? We are very close here. We did that. Okay. So I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to... I'm not going to kill the ancient dragon. I just don't think that's viable. Uh, we want to... Uh, I'm going to abandon the sconces in the gutter. I don't know how to do that. I don't know where they all are. Um, I'm going to go and grab the great souls. Um, and uh, does Moglin sell anything? I don't think so. I'm going to go grab all the great souls, I'm going to bonfire ascetic everything, and then I'm going to get those, and then we're going to... You need armor? No. Are okay. you sure? Yeah. Uh, so I'll go, I'll go do that off camera, and then we will um, start the next episode by reading um, the... Uh, all of the... I think we're pretty much... I guess Nishandra still has some stuff uh, that we can read, but um, yeah, okay. I know what we're gonna do next episode. Okay, I'll get the souls off camera, and then we'll uh, join for the next episode, which will be killing Vendrick and killing the Queen. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.